Blessings and blessings. Hurrah! 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 Preston Smiles here, your personal freedom and embodiment coach. And today's transmission is stop chasing love mm, and start doing this instead. And the this ooh, is so powerful. So make sure you make it to the end of the video because all three of them could change your life forever. Now I want to start by saying I understand that in this high tech, low touch society where we swipe to the left and we swipe to the right and we're constantly looking for the next best thing. We're shopping and getting the dopamine hit and the next sort of version of getting high on who's better for me that you can get caught in the matrix. You can get caught in a trap, a mental trap of thinking that you need to go chase, that you need to go get. This whole thing is not about getting, it's about being, it's about allowing, it's about receptivity, it's about being the frequency and the vibration of that which you'd like to attract. Ooh, ah, here we go, but we're gonna go deeper. So number one, do this instead. Number one, checking in with the traumas that you have not healed within yourself. Now I'm gonna say this again for those of you in the back that didn't hear it and didn't let it land in your system. All of us come with a backpack full of traumas and things that we've been through. Some of it is yours, some of it's your mom's, her mom's, and her mom's. Some of it's your dad, his dad, and his dad's. Some of it is that person that called you a name when you were seven years old. It was the friends that left and moved somewhere else. It was the divorce that your parents went through. It was the going through puberty and you were made fun of at school. Whatever it is, we all have these backpacks full of traumas that we bring to relationships. And the less bricks, the less things in your backpack, the more available you are for the type of person that you would like to attract into your space. Oh, I hope this is landing for somebody. I'm just about to pause and just go, let's get it. Blah, 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 blah. Breathing in, breathing out. Oh yes, okay, number two. Let's go to number two. Now the second thing you get to do instead of chasing is date yourself. I challenge you to begin to have so much fun with you, to fall in love with you, to get comfortable being alone, but never alone, because we're not alone. We're born into community and we will die in community. There's people all around us. I challenge you, instead of trying to fill your cup from somebody else's juice or water or almond milk or whatever it is for the vegans, instead of trying to fill your cup from somebody else's stuff, I challenge you to fill your own cup. I want you to understand this, that if it rained, for 10 days straight and your cup was flipped over, no matter how much rain landed on that cup, if the cup is not allowing itself to receive what already is here, mm, it cannot be filled to the top. You wanna fill your cup and give from the overflow. You wanna fall in love with yourself. You wanna go on dates with yourself. If you've been putting off a trip to Southeast Asia or some beautiful part of Africa, which is the whole damn continent because it's amazing, or some trip to Tulum, Mexico, whatever it is, if you've been putting that off, waiting until you find your person, till you get your one, I challenge you to make the decision that you already are enough and watch what happens. Oof, I did six months of celibacy and I knew that I was calling in my one. And what happened was, was in that six months, I fell so deep and madly in love with myself that I realized that anybody who came into my space was gonna be extra. Ooh, I'm gonna say it again. Anybody who came into my space was gonna be extra. They were gonna be the cherry on top and not the whole damn cake. That energy, one, is attractive. It's sexy when somebody owns and loves, truly loves. Not pretend, not like, oh, I took a bath and I took a selfie on Instagram. Look, hashtag self care. No, I mean deeply, madly in love with yourself, which leads me to number three. And this is the last one. I hope you guys are with me. I hope you're following me. Number three is begin to practice speaking your truth 
Begin to practice operating from the deepest levels of authenticity with your friends, your family, your coworkers, the person at the Starbucks or wherever you go, so that the people pleaser within you, and you know who I'm talking to and what I'm talking about, the people pleaser within you that needs to have everybody like you, and oh, I'll do anything to acquiesce to make the guy or the girl like me. That part of you is almost dead by the time that you magnetize your one into your space. Ooh, I hope, I hope for the sake of humanity that you are letting this land. You are a perfect emanation of the most high, whatever you call that. You are perfect, whole and complete, but not finished. You are pure magic. There has never been a mistake in the universe. There's never been a mistake in one leaf on that tree. There's never been a mistake on one blade of grass. There's never been a mistake on one of these beautiful nappy curls that's happening in my hair. And the same is true for you. You are not a mistake. You are not forsaken. Whatever God you believe in is not going to choose everybody else to find somebody out of 7.7 .7 billion people. You're not the one person that's never going to find somebody. Ooh, let this land. However, it's not about finding, it's not about chasing, it's about being whoo, the space for them to come. Ooh, blessings and blessings from my heart to yours. I hope this landed. If it did, please leave a comment below with which number you know you get to work on the most and click that like and subscribe button. If you're watching this on YouTube, I love you so much from my heart to yours. Blessings and blessings. Live love. Give love, be love. Oh, oh, let's go.